This is just a quick reminder on how to multiply decimal numbers. So I'm going to go over three examples just to remind you of the steps and the procedures of doing this concept. So here we have a whole number five times a decimal number, six and three tenths. You want to remember to line up the numbers. I usually like to put the um, numbers with the most digits on top. Remember in multiplication it doesn't matter what order you do them. So I'm going to do it that way. You have that choice if you want to. So I've lined up the numbers. The five's in the one place, the three is in the tenths place. That's okay. Basically you ignore the decimal. You still have to have it in there but you don't do anything with it until the end. So you want to almost think of it as 63 times 5, but leave the decimal there at the end because you're going to need it when you're all the way done. So we start with our 5, and we go 5 times 3, which is 15, and then 5 times 6 is 30. We add our 1. We have 31. Now, we need, now we're done with multiplying, so we need to deal with the decimal. We go back up to our factors and we count how many digits are after the decimal. So in six and three tenths, we have one digit after the decimal. In the five, there's no digits after the decimal. So altogether, we have one digit after the decimal. So we start um, at the far right of the number and we move over once and we place our decimal. So our answer is 31 and five tenths. Now let's look at a number where we have decimals in both of the factors. Still, you want to line up the numbers. Now I want to show you, when you have a zero that is to the left of the decimal and there is no other number right there, you, get, you can get rid of it. Now if you had a number like that, obviously you can't get rid of your decimal. But in this case, you can get rid of it and then it just gets one number out of the way. So we're going to go 2 and 8 tenths times 5 tenths. If you want the zero there, you can put it there. You don't need it. So I've lined up the numbers. The decimals happen to be lined up, but that doesn't matter if the decimals are lined up or not. You want to basically think 28 times 5, but leave the decimals in there. So we're going to go 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 2 is 10, plus the 4 is 14. Now we come up to our factors. In 2 and 8 tenths, we have one number after the decimal. In 5 tenths, we have one number after the decimal. So altogether, we have two numbers after the decimal. So we come to the right of the number and we go 1, 2. So our answer is 1 and 40 hundredths, or you can write it as 1 and 4 tenths. All right, one more. So this is multi-digit numbers, both having decimals. So we have 12 and 3 tenths, 6 and 4 tenths. You want to line up the numbers. Once again, in this case, the decimals happen to be lined up. That doesn't matter. You are not going to bring the decimals down. You're going to leave the decimals alone, ignore them for right now. Think of it as 123 times 64. So we'll start with our 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 2 is 8 plus the 1 is 9, 4 times 1 is 4. We're now done with the 4. Remember, we put a 0 here when we're ready to start the next number. So now it's 6's turn. We're done with the 4. 6's turn. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 2 is 12, plus the 1 is 13. 6 times 1 is 6, plus the 1 is 7. Don't bring the decimals down and like put them there. That's not how we do this. You ignore the decimals right now until you're all the way done with the multiplication problem. So now we're going to add. Okay, and now we're going to move the decimal. We're going to come back up to our factors. In 12 and 3 tenths, we have one number after the decimal. And 6 and 4 tenths, we have one number after the decimal. So all together, we have two numbers after the decimal, so we come over here to the right of our product and we go one, two, so our final answer is 78 and 72 hundredths. Make sure that you show your work on scratch paper and take a picture of it and text it to me or insert it into your documents so that if you're getting them wrong, I can help you by seeing how you are getting them wrong.